President of the Mojave Desert Democratic Club and Chairman of the 34th AD. I want to talk to you today about the Hinkley Sludge problem that we have and what we need to do to resolve that issue. After being chased out of Atlanta, Nursery Products, a company whose name itself is a deception, set their sights on the economically depressed, disempowered rural community of Hinkley, California in the high desert of San Bernardino County. Hinkley, California is the exact same community that was the setting for the Aaron Brockovich movie that brought attention to the use of Chromium-6 by PG&E with devastating health effects on the Hinkley community. Uh, article, uh, letter to the editor in the paper. He was wrong. He was dead wrong. Oh, and this is the same crazy. argument I've been having with Norman from the very beginning. It, the title of his letter is, physical. it's not about politics. It is. In his letter, Norman Diaz wrote, and I quote, some people wanted or expected helphinkley.com to come out for or against certain political people that have been supportive or unsupportive to our fight against the nursery products composting facility. We have stayed purposely quiet for a number of reasons. Our fight against the open air sludge dump has nothing to do with politics. Our fight is about the health and safety of our children, families, and future. And I was really tempted to write uh, a response and say, you know, Norman, I love you to death, and you're a great guy, and you're a hero for doing this thing, but you're dead wrong. It's, it's all, all about, about politics. politics, and until we get that turned around, we're not going to, uh, you know, make any change. Change is all, you know, I used to do all my activism outside the Democratic Party. I was always a Democrat, but I was just out there doing my civil rights or environmental thing or whatever it is. And one day you realize it's a two-party system. We are governed by leaders. Mm -hmm. And until we can get the right leaders in there to take us the right direction. And you know, my opinion on the whole Help Hinkley thing is they've been playing into the hands of their enemy at every step of the way. They've been taking all of this energy of all these people and they've been doing everything exactly like nursery products want them to. Because the deck is stacked against them for that. They were bound to fail down there at the, the county level, which was the first step in this whole process, because Brad and everyone else had taken a bunch of money on that, and Brad wrote this huge big motion ahead of time. So, you know, it, it's, it's one of those things where, um, you know, we have got to change the political landscape. We absolutely need someone like Linda in there to go up there, and um, a point I also want to make, I've become a big fan of Dean Flores for a lot of reasons. Um, first of all, why he, his actions on the uh, Government Organization Committee, he was brilliant, uh, he was fantastic, and so in researching him, I went to his website, and if you go to Dean Flores' website, and you click on the top where it says biography, and you Just listen to what it says here in his biography, quote, he has also been an outspoken leader against the importation and application of sewage sludge in the district and has fought against proposed mega dumps and super dairies. Flores has brought to the forefront of discussion how rural California is oftentimes used as the dumping ground for what California's waste and societal problems through laws, regulations, and common practice, end quote. And I told Norman this way over a year ago when he was first getting into this. I said, Norman, I'll tell you how you're going to win this. You're going to win this by getting it in front of the state legislature. And you're going to win this by getting a bill passed that out totally bans the outdoor composting of human sludge. That's how you're going to win it. You're not going to win it at the Air Quality Board. You're not going to win it at any water board. You're not going to win it at any other location. You have got to win it at the state capitol by changing legislation. It's about time we got a strong candidate, a strong Democrat running in there. Linda Jones is that strong Democrat. She's a strong candidate and she has a very good chance if we all get behind her and we help push her right on in to being our next assemblywoman from the 36th district. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big welcome for Linda Jones. Assembly District, and today.
today I want to talk to you about outdoor composting and human sludge. We need to come together and we need to work with the helphinkley.org because the bottom line is this is a perfect example of irresponsible policy, environmental policy. And the bottom line is that if the Mojave Air Quality Management District is saying that we can't do anything because, you know, the state um, has taken away our regulation, uh, power regulation, then we need to go to the state. And I know there's various elected officials, uh, one being uh, Senator Dean Flores, who has taken up the arms in terms of dealing with the issues of sludge and dealing, de uh, dealing with uh, air quality management uh, issues. And one of the things that we're going to do is take this to Senator Flores to enlist him to partner with us and to holding our elected officials um, and the regulating bodies, um, uh, holding them accountable. Because the bottom line, this is a quality of life issue, it's an economic development issue, and it's an issue of accountability. And to turn our backs on the residents of Hinckley, to me, is just uh, irresponsibility, irresponsible. And so I will make that commitment today to partner with uh, helphinkley.org to make sure that we have the uh, social and economic justice that we need to ban the outdoor composting of human sludge. Um, we already have examples of how, you know, it has demonstrated and shown us that this technology can be done in terms of an enclosed environment and why that wasn't the priority in, in terms of when we initially uh, set this facility up in this community, it just beats me. But the reality is that we need to hold elected officials accountable and make sure that they do the things and do those things right by our residents of Hinkley to make sure that we ban outdoor composting and make sure that we reverse the, the negative outcomes of this by enclosing the system. We need to remember that Hinkley is the same area of uh, involving Aaron Brockovich in regard, regards to the PG&E and the Chromium 6. And once again, this community has become victim to um, negligence uh, from, their, uh, from their elected officials. And we can no longer, again, have our kids becoming victims of this irresponsibility. And so again, I ask you to join with me and joining with the residents of Hinckley. And I know that Mr. Diaz is really um, hesitant to, to go partisan. But the reality is the Democrats are the only one that's going to take on this issue. And unless he aggressively, you know, involve the legis state legislature, you know, he's going to continue to, to run around in circles and they're just going to wear, you know, just wear down the residents because that's what they're depending on is that the morale, they're going to wear them out. And uh, they've gone through this already with the pg and &E. Um, situation and until folks from the outside come in and ban it and join with the residents of Hinkley, um, you know, they're planning on time and legislation from the local level, from the county level, just like what you said, to be able to um, just basically overcome and overwhelm the residents. Right? It's a rural justice issue. If we don't speak out and, and educate, so we've got an education process to take place and we've got to educate Sacramento, let them know, but we in the rural communities and the desert communities are going through and understand that it's a contradiction, it's totally negatively impacted. Talking about, you know, accountability as we start rewarding and putting in incentives for folks doing what, they're, what, what they should be doing as opposed to penalizing them. And I think in that aspect, because the other way it's going is that you know, it's kind of like in NIMBY's in my backyard, or we're just going to push it off to another community. And we know that that's not a policy either. That's not a good policy either. And that's what we're dealing with. You know, it's the NIMBY's just kind of push it off in somebody else's backyard and let them deal with it. And so you keep kind of just going through, you know, the same cycle. And so again, but that's not being responsible. It's time to abandon the extremes and let's move toward the center and let's work on building consensus. I invite you to go to my website, makeithappenlinda.com. Again, makeithappenlinda.com and join me in selecting your next assembly woman for the 36th assembly. Get up, stand up, stand up for your right.